Taylor with Jeannie's Designs. I am getting ready to do a scrap buster. And you know, I, I, I'm sure just like the rest of you, you have tons of small and medium scraps that just aren't really useful for much. So um, I am gonna make these tiny little wallets and I got this free pattern from the Crafty Gemini. She does, she's an amazing, amazing crafter. But this is free and I'll link it below. And all it is, is a small little wallet. I had one made and I don't know what I did with it. I must have left it out in the other room. So that's, this is it. And I am, I'm making them with vinyl. So here's one, here's another one. Here's one, another one, and here's two more. And these are just scraps that I had in my bin. I'll measure what, what this is so you can uh, have an idea. This is, um, it is eight, you need an eight and a half long piece by about five, not quite five. So eight and a half by five. Um, piece of scrap. I did some of these on my scan and cut, but my scan and cut had a little problem because most of my scraps were small. I did this one on the scan and cut, and I mean, you can tell it's absolutely perfect. So all we do, oh, it's still got some tape on it. Oh, that's hilarious, because I did tape it to my, my uh, pad. <laughs> that's funny. So all this, this is all raw edge. So you do need to probably, you. I suppose you could do it with a, a cotton quilting. You'd have to turn it because you wouldn't want to leave that raw edge. But um, I haven't tried it with that. And I don't know if she mentions that or not, honestly. But all you do, oh, goodness gracious, is um, you fold this. And I'm gonna do a row of top stitching here. You fold this up and clip it here. My husband put this table over here because I'm always having to throw things on the floor. God, he is just about the most wonderful man there is. I know, I brag on him a lot. So I'm just clipping this so you can see, and then I'll move my camera. So that's what it is. And then this folds down with a snap. That's it. That's all there is to it. Um, and I am gonna use, uh, I'm, I, on the one I did previously, I did a plastic snap. So there's, it's all raw edge inside. It's the back side of the vinyl, but that's it. It is a perfect size and I'll go grab the one I did because I have some cards in it and you can see. It holds quite a few credit cards or gift cards or cash, ID, you know, something you want to just throw in your purse um, to have available. It'd be nice to have something like this actually to put gift cards in. That way you don't lose them and they're always with you in case you want to use one. That's my thought. All right, I'll uh, turn my camera and uh, we'll do a few of these. There's nothing to them. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click the JD in the bottom right corner to subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks. All right, here's the one I made yesterday and that's all it is. It's huge. Oh, I left my cards out there. Let's see what I got here. But here's a whole bunch of cards. And there's room for a ton more. I mean, look at that. And then you just snap it closed. Now, I did underneath these snaps put a really tiny piece of Decaville Heavy. Um, I have had, I've only had one issue and it was when I did not uh, support these magnetic snaps. The snap came out. So I do, I put, it's just, I mean, it is a tiny little circle because you have to get it pretty small so, or you're gonna see it. So that's all that is. So um, the other thing I, meant, I would mention is, I started doing this one and I'm gonna go ahead and finish it just to see what it looks like. 
This is a very thin vinyl. I'm not sure that is um, suited for this. I'm, I'm gonna do it and I'll finish it and see how it does. But we're gonna start about a half an inch in and sew up and around and come back down and sew about half an inch in. You don't need to sew across the bottom, but I'm just, I so she just suggests you sew about a half an inch in. And there's my top stitching there. So we'll try it. I, I don't think this one will work very well, but you never know. Let's try it. Let's give it a whirl. I've already got it all cut out. My stitch length. And then you can trim up uh, the sides. If they don't need it absolutely perfectly. And then I do backstitch over the, where the cards are gonna be in and out. And I'm just going slow around the curve here. Yeah, this vinyl curves a little bit. That's all right. But these make great gifts. Like if you're gonna give somebody a um, gift card, Get, make one of these and put it in there. I mean, how cool is that? And then they can use this. Okay, that's it. Well, I shouldn't say that's it. We gotta put a snap on there. And I've just been using my plastic snaps, but you could definitely use um, metal snaps. But see this lightweight vinyl, I think it'll still work and be fine. Let me see what I got for snaps here. Oh, uh, well, I'm with, uh, I, sh I made another uh, zip and grip out of this cork. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. I mean, these are selling so fast. It's crazy. There you go. Isn't that just cute? Huh. They, uh, they're, I mean, and I honestly think this is going to be uh, gifts, Christmas gifts for, uh, I shouldn't say that too loud. They might be watching. All right, so this is pink. This pink doesn't go, so I'm gonna use a, uh, eh, I might use black. I think I'll use black. And I'll show you what I mean by uh, a tiny piece of uh, Decaville. So I've been I've been just doing like not even a half inch, and then I'll um, put a hole in it, and then I do cut the corners off, so it's hidden underneath the snap. <laughs> I mean, especially on something like this, you definitely need it because it's so flimsy. Okay, and then I'm just gonna measure real quick my center.
So that's what I mean. I don't know if you can even see it. See how tiny that is? So I just put that underneath here. Actually, on this side, I'm gonna put it underneath the snap part right here. And that one goes there. There's my pliers. I hope you guys are having a great day. We spent a good portion of the day in the pool. Okay, here we go. So there's the front. Oh, my pink with the black. Isn't that going to be just very cute? And then I'm, I'm, this is not rocket science. I am just guessing where that other one goes. <laughs> you know, it's, these aren't anything fancy. Okay, where's my other tiny little piece here? And you can try and make a circle. I mean, they're so small. Okay, again, this one is going to go on the inside. Right here. And it's this one. I don't know why I have an extra piece, but I do. Okay, here is the moment of truth. That's it. That's all there is to it. Yeah, see this, this flimsy final oh, is not a good idea. This is a little thicker vinyl and it has no, no problem. But this flimsy vinyl is not gonna, it's not gonna work. It's gonna be too flimsy. And that's okay. I, I kinda had that I feeling. All right, I'm gonna do one more real quick. And let me put my hole in another piece here. These are so tiny, I'm gonna have a hard time uh, keeping track of them. I'm always, if you guys have any free patterns out there that are like this, that are scrap busters, I I'd love to hear about them because you know, we always end up having uh, tons of extra stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna just top stitch right here. piece of tape here. Okay. Okay. Start about a half an inch in. And go slow. Round your curves.
back stitch once over your connection there. keep a big bin of scraps mine just sits there okay. oh, this one is gonna be for me And I'm just eyeballing it. It ends up being just a little less than uh, five inches. At least mine does. All right, let's see what color should we use. I think I'll use a purple. Actually, yeah, I'll use purple. Oh, here's my connectors. There we go. Okay. Tiny piece of Decaville. Okay, one last one, and then uh, we gotta go try this. These little plastic snaps are extremely sharp. So, if you get some, be careful. I have stabbed myself and it makes me bleed. All right. Okay. That's it. Isn't that cute? So I, I wouldn't use this one. It's gonna fall apart. This this isn't gonna hold. But there are those two. So I'm gonna do some other ones and I'll come back when I'm done and show them to you. I'll trim these up just a hair. Fun, fun, fun. Thanks for watching.
All right, so there you have it. I did, in about 30 minutes or less, I did five of these. Excuse me. Oh, actually four, because I did this one yesterday. So I did this one. This one. This ostrich vinyl is a little thinner. So if you noticed in the video, I put a piece of Decaville Heavy under. So I used four pieces of Decaville Heavy. Two on this one and two on this one. Because this is a much lightweighter vinyl. And I just did the same thing on this one because it is also a much light, lighter weight vinyl. These are uh, strong little snaps. So there you go. I'm gonna clean these up just a little. But I will post the link to the PDF in the uh, description below. Go try them. They're great little, even if you just use them to use up scraps, you could, you know, as a little free gift, put them in um, something that someone purchases as just a little, you know, add-on. That'd be kind of fun. So, Oh my gosh, this one's mine, actually. I'm going to use this for, I have all this uh, stained glass stuff in a purse pal in my pouch. All right. And I did not put tags on them. You know, they're, I don't even know how much I'd sell these for, $5 maybe. I mean, they're so cute. So go make some, get the free pattern. It's the Kendall Snap Pouch by Crafty Gemini. And I'll link her in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.